Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Mary, the farm girl. Today, we are looking at Canadian resume writing formats. So I've already created another resume and this resume is suitable for a person that ha does not have experience. So if you do not have experience in the job that you're going to uh, apply to, or maybe you're going to be changing the career from one job to another, then this is a good way to show that you are suitable candidate for this job. So we are going to give an example of a farm worker in this case. So this is where you're going to write your resume or your name, like in the chronological format. So this is the strategic functional format that focuses more on the skills. After you have written your name, you go ahead and include your international phone number. And like I said in the previous uh, resume format, this is to increase the chances of the employer wanting to call you because those local numbers are going to give them tedious work. And remember, the Canadian employers do not have time to waste. Money is time. Time is money in Canada. So... Remember, you're going to be even paid with hourly. So time is money. You need to mean to make sure that the time they are going to use to call you is very swift. So your international phone number is going to play a big role in this place. Then you include your email address and remember to use a Gmail account. Then you're going to include your postal address and then the LinkedIn profile. But if you do not have the LinkedIn profile, it's not a problem. It's not a must for you to include it in your resume, but it is going to give you more credit if you have it. So if you do not have one, make sure that you create and then you write it as part of your resume. So after you have written those things, then you're going to include your objective for writing or for you wanting to uh, apply for this job and in this I have given you an example so you can write a description of the desired area of work you wish to operate in on the specific farm you can add unique skills that make you stand out among other farm workers remember to add roles and capabilities that make you make the recruiter select you for example if you worked in a different sector other than farming, you can state that you are a good team player, you have computer skills, you can manage teams, you have knowledge of agricultural chains, value chains, and you have high adaptability and interpersonal skills. A summary of qualifications. After you have written the objectives, you write the summary of, of qualifications. In this section, you can indicate any roles that you have worked on before and the number of years you worked in that sector. You should also indicate the work, uh, the volunteer work you have done that shows your teamwork and interpersonal skills. For example, you can say you worked on a project that involves high team player coordination to complete and it builds your communication skills. For example, you can state five years of experience working and volunteering in hospitals and retirement living facilities. This is if you have done actually that. So this is just an example to show that you can be able to cooperate with other team players or team workers or employees in the same company. You should also indicate a relevant degree training or certification you have for example effective project management with pmi certification you can also highlight the ability to plan monitor and coordinate projects and tasks from conception to completion then you go ahead and include the skills that you have acquired during your you know your short-term uh, working period so in this case you should say that you have the specific skills, so this can be, for example, you are good at networking and partnering, as I have written for you here. After you have written the skill, you write the company you worked in, not necessarily related to agriculture, because remember this example we are giving for a person who is looking for a job in the agricultural sector. You write the period that you worked in that job then you also indicate the unique outcomes and actions you had in that experience ranging from paid or unpaid or academic or life experience for example you can say that you collaborated with the product team and spearheaded development initiatives you can also say that you built new organizational features such as a new project that increased sales by 20 
percent or you can say you introduced a digital marketing campaign and achieved target acquisition goal of 20 percent under the target cpa or you can even say if you just completed school you can mention the clubs you participated in and the accomplishments that you made so this is a good way of showing that you are a good at going and working for a company so these numbers are going to actually show that you can be able to move a company from one level to the other another example is networking and partnering so you can say if you just completed school you can just say the school the month or the period that you did this networking for example you led institution music club winning national musicals for two years in a row or you participated as a team leader in a local charity fundraiser program effectively revelaged the networks of the board and they managed the relationships to compile over 20 items of the program and you raised $10,500 in the project. So remember to only include information that shows that you have actually done these tasks because sometimes these employers are going to ask for references and if your referee says that you did not do as you had indicated then it's going to be a problem and you might even lose the chance of ever going to Canada. So after that you include your education. This is where you indicate the diploma or the degree that you have done. And then you include, if you have gone to multiple universities, this is the section that you're going to be including the information in. Then you're going to include the experience history. This is including the most recent title. That is if you have the experience, but if you do not have, then it is not a problem. You can just highlight one or two things you have done in the past, even if it is for your own. For example, maybe you went ahead and started a business and maybe it didn't do well. You can include here that you started a business, you ran it for a while, then you had to close because of maybe capital issues. Then if you are an ex-server, then you just write whatever you did, even the small, small uh, experiences that you have had. This is for a person that does not have experience, so this it can also be excluded at once or you don't have to indicate it but if you have a little experience that is not related to the job that you're going to be applying to then you can include it in this section of the employment history after that now you write the languages and other interests this is where you indicate you know french or you know english languages and that is complete so this is just one page. You can see that it is possible for you to include all the information that the employer requires in just one page. And if you need this template, kindly comment in the section below and I'm going to share it with you. If you also need services or maybe you, you feel that you don't have the expertise of writing your own resume, I can help you with that. You just have to join the club membership of the careers in canada uh, in the membership uh, section and then we are going to figure out how we are going to just help you with the resume or you can reach me on my email address so that is just about it guys i've shown you the two formats so in the in the hybrid method you combine these uh the skills based or the functional method with the chronological so this is the template if you want to copy it it's okay if you want me to share it with you that and then you're going to include your information then it's also okay remember to subscribe share and comment and if you have found value in this video kindly remember to share it with a friend or somebody who is also looking for jobs in canada so that they can know how to write their uh, Canada formats and then they can be able to acquire a job remember we are here to hold each other's hand and it is possible for us to acquire the dreams that we are looking out at and those careers in Canada so until next time guys remember to subscribe like and share in the next video I'm going to talk about how you should be using LinkedIn uh, profiles to get jobs in Canada because most people have gotten jobs through connecting with employers in LinkedIn and you need to know how to do it right so that you can be able to secure yourself a job as well. So until next time guys, let's meet in the next video. Bye bye.